The Farj prayer Arabic, Slat al Salat al dawn prayer, an obligatory prayer subu prayer with two racket prescribed movements, and one of the five daily prayers offered by practicing Muslims. Farj means dawn in the Arabic language. The five daily prayers collectively form one pillar of the five pillars of Islam, in Sunni Islam, and one of the ten practices of the religion al -din according to Shia Islam. The Farj prayer is mentioned by name in the Quran at Surah 24 and Nur Ayah. Inspired by the tafsir of the two hadiths that were transmitted on behalf of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, the worth of the Farj daily prayer is explained as being God's most favored prayer since others are asleep. Subu prayer requires two Fard raka'at. In a congregation, the leader of the prayer imam recites aloud. However, two sunnah raka'at prior to the two fard raka'at are highly recommended and should not be missed. It's forbidden to pray any other prayers from the start of farj until sunrise. The time period within which the farj daily prayer must be offered with loud recitation of the Quran is from the beginning of dawn to sunrise. The call to farj prayer marks the beginning of the obligatory daily fasting during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. The Quran relates a surah, al-farj, by the same name. Name variations <laughs> Hadith mentioning Farj Salat The following quotations regarding Farj, the Islamic dawn prayer, are from books of Sunni Hadith. These books relate accounts taken from the life of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, his family, and his companions. They were compiled by Islamic scholars after Muhammad's death. These quotations include information about those who related the accounts, as well as the accounts themselves. Narrated Aisha, Muhammad never missed four rakat before the Zur prayer and two rakat before the Farj prayer. Narrated Abu Huraira, Muhammad said, "...if any one of you can get one rakah of the ASR prayer before sunset, he should complete his prayer." If any of you can get one rakah of the Farj prayer before sunrise, he should complete his prayer." Sahih al-Bukhari, 110, 531 Narrated Umar, "...the Prophet forbade praying after the Subu prayer till the sun rises and after the ASR prayer till the sun sets." Sahih al-Bukhari, 110, 555 Abu Huraira stated that Muhammad had said, "...there are angels who take turns in visiting you by night and by day, and they all assemble at the dawn and the afternoon ASR prayers." Those who have spent the night with you, ascend to the heaven and their Rab Lord, who knows better about them, asks, In what condition did you leave my slaves? They reply, We left them while they were performing salat and we went to them while they were performing salat." From al-Bukhari and Muslim. Aisha relates that Muhammad said about the two rakahs before farj prayer, "...they are dearer to me than the whole world." This is related by Muslim, Ahmad and Tirmidhi. Ahmad and Muslim record that Aisha said, "'I have never seen him Muhammad more in haste to do a good deed than he was to perform the two rakahs before the morning Farj prayer. Abu Huraira reports that Muhammad said, "'Do not leave the two rakahs of Farj, even if you were being attacked by cavalry." This is confirmed by Ahmad, Abu Dawud, al bahaiki and at tahawi Aisha reports that Muhammad said, the two rakas of Farj are better than this world and all it contains. This is reported by Ahmad, Muslim, Termidi, and Nasi. Abu Huraira reported Muhammad said, No salat is more burdensome to the hypocrites than the Farj prayer and the Isha prayer, and if they knew their merits, they would come to them even if they had to crawl to do so. Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. See also Wudu Zur midday prayer ASR afternoon prayer Maghrib sunset prayer Isha night prayer Dikr Tasba Topic Notes Topic External links Prayer Times Worldwide Prayer Times A Guide to Maintain Farj Salat R. Farj Double Advantage